Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to use disk management in Windows 7 to shrink a partition. So imagine if you have a partition that has a lot of extra space in it and you want to free up some of that space to create a different partition. So I'm going to click on start and then I'm going to click on control panel and then I'm going to click on system and security and then administrative tools and then I'll double click on computer management. Inside of computer management I've got disk management. I'll click on disk management and in disk management you'll see I've got a C drive that is 40 gigabytes in size and I've got BK1, the X drive, that is 2 gigabytes in size. I want to shrink the size of BK1 or X to 1 gigabyte so I'm going to left click on BK1 first and then I'm going to right click on BK1 and shrink the volume. So the total size before shrink in MB is 2048 and I want to enter the amount of space to shrink in MBs. So I'm going to shrink it 1024 and the total size after shrink in MB would be 1024. This other item up here, size of available shrink space in MBs is 1656. I can't shrink it all the way because there may be some files or folders taking up space and that's how this number is generated. So anyway, I'm starting out at 2048 and I'm going to shrink 1024 leaving myself a total size after shrink of 1024 MBs. So I click the shrink button and now I have 1 GB of space in the X drive. And if I want to create another partition here, I can right click and unallocate it, left click on create new simple volume, and the new simple volume wizard appears. I click on next, and I want a simple volume the size of 1024 MBs. So I'll click on next, and I need to assign a drive letter. I'll call it drive letter Y, and then I'll click on next, and I'm going to format this file system using NTFS. I'll leave the allocation unit size default and I'm going to put a volume label in there called BK2 and I'll perform a quick format. So I'll click on next and then finish on the summary page and I've created a Y drive and formatted it. So now instead of having a 2 gig drive for X, I now have a 1 gig drive for X and a 1 gig drive for Y. So I'm going to go ahead and close disk management as well as the other items on my desktop and I'm going to double click on the Windows Explorer and you'll see I have a C drive, an X drive, and a Y drive. So this concludes my presentation on using disk management in Windows 7 to shrink a partition or create a simple partition. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.